Hey everyone, this is Disk Junkie, and today I'm here to do a, a video, an update uh, video of my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. Uh, basically, the only real reason why I'm doing this is because uh, my Texas Chainsaw editions is one of those things which I tend to want to show friends and family and people on the internet and whatnot. So, uh, you know, I buy a lot of editions all the time, and so I felt it was time to do a updated video that actually shows all the editions in the collection. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and begin over here. These are some uh, Swedish uh, VHS editions and I'm not gonna go to into too much detail about uh, the history of each copy or anything. Um, but uh, yeah, these are all Swedish Swedish tapes Basically, Sweden has had quite a few tapes released over the years. This is also from Sweden. And then over here, this is actually from Argentina. Uh, the only actually actual edition I own from Argentina. Kind of a weird design. And it seems, it makes me think of uh, uh, the third movie rather than the original. But yeah, this is the the first one, and not uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, as you might think from the uh, weird silhouette. And in Argentina, it's apparently called El Loco de la Motosierra, which translates to uh, the madman with the chainsaw. Here is a French one, French VHS tape, which almost has like a jewel cover. The, the back cover is basically just a, you know, has a lot of artwork and no real plot line or stuff, so kind of cool. Then we have a Dutch release from Converge Video. This was a very early, one of the early releases which was completely uncut, as I recall. Looks like that. Uh, then this is a more recent VHS tape from... Oh, what's this from? Yeah, this is also, this is from Dutch Filmworks, so this is another Dutch release. Sort of a more common cover art than this one. Uh, that's all the tapes I got over here. So now we're moving over to the main shelf here. Uh, up at the top, we got the German slash Austrian uh, chainsaw edition. It's like a weird fold out thing. Two discs. It's just made out of cardboard. It looks kind of, I don't know, I always thought this looked kind of cheesy and weird. Uh, here are some Japanese VHS tapes. I'll start with this one. Looks like this. And there are some other Japanese ones in the back here. This one is actually, this is actually a Betamax one, as you can tell from the spine with a B. So this is a Japanese Betamax copy in a VHS size clamshell. Uh, here's another Japanese VHS. Kind of hard to turn this with one hand. It's been too long. Uh, here is the VHS version. Uh, same cover as the Betamax. Same size, but it actually has a VHS printed on it rather than having Beta printed on it. So they are actually different, uh, different covers, even if it's the same artwork. And here's the last Japanese VHS that I got. Looks like that. Some of these are faded, as you can tell from the spine. Um, but, yeah, I don't really mind. I mean, it's hard enough to find these. Uh, this is a um, FrightRags.com uh, exclusive limited edition box set. So this has like a t-shirt and a bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to open it to show it. Um, but I thought I would quickly show you just, you know, the front. It has this awesome Black Maria Trucking Company logo, which I love. And the back just has fried rags, kick-ass horse shirts, and blah blah blah. Next up, here are some of my, some of my favorite releases. Uh, here is a 8mm copy from uh, Duran. And this is obviously an abridged version, which runs about 20 minutes. Uh, if you want to see what... <laughs> What that version actually looks like. We've actually made an audio commentary type thing about that, so you can just search YouTube for 
for 8 millimeter Texas Chainsaw Disc Junkie or something. Here is the first release from the UK, first ever VHS version, which was presented in this square Super 8 box. It's actually a dual function box set, meaning that it can house either a VHS tape or a 8mm Super 8 reel. And I can also show you the back cover for this, even though there's no real back cover, it's just plain. Well, next up is another UK version, also Super 8, comes in this plastic Super 8 case. Uh, this is a bootleg soundtrack on cassette, and it's basically just a straight audio dub of the entire movie. It's released by Dutch Oven. Just looks like that. Here is just some uh, TCM playing cards. I forget how and where I got these, but they're pretty common. Here's a leather face figure, which I got as a gift from one of my fans on the tube. Putting that aside now. Here's another gift, uh, and it's a die-cast metal hand-painted little figure, which is really cool. Because it actually it's actually a metal figure, which I think is kind of fun and unusual. Here is some kind, I, I don't really know what this is, this was released by a company called Dead Audio Tapes and it's um, it's it's some kind of music thing, I, basically just, it's released under the same name as the movie but I don't really think it has anything to do with the movie, I think they basically just took the name and I think the group is called Massacre I don't really know much about this, but it is a limited edition cassette tape. I just bought it on a whim and haven't really listened to it, so I'm not really sure about that. Uh, here is a German blood pack release. It's a keep case and it comes with this uh, generic uh, blood pack case. It was released by a company called Cyber Pirates. Basically the, uh, the, the blood pack came from Cyber Pirates. The regular keep case is like a standard release in Germany, so you can get that anywhere on the second hand market. Here's a Brazilian video game uh, of the, the Atari game. This is a Brazilian version of that. Just says Texas Texas Massacre, made in Brazil. Haven't actually played that because I don't have an Atari player, but it is the same as the American Atari game version. Here are just here's a, just a pin. I think this was a gift from someone too. This is actually an original promotional pin, which was issued at the same time as this, uh, the first VHS version. I think this, these were sent as promo items to the theaters uh, playing the movie back then. Here is a Leatherface Horror Screamers sound effects thing. It only has one sound, and I've actually cut it open at the side just to be able to play it, as well as changing the batteries. See if you can see what this sounds like. Yeah, nobody remembers that from the movie because I don't really think that sample is from the new movie. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what that's like. Here is a uh, American Vestron video CED disc. Kind of a weird format, which I also cannot play, but it is pretty cool. Ah, oh, so much stuff here that I don't have space to uh, to show you. Here's the American Deluxe Laserdisc. I think it's a, I think this a multiple disc release. I forget, but I think it is. There's the back cover. Then we also have the more standard American laser disc restored, uncut. Back cover looks like that. And then there's just like a magic cut where I reset everything that I messed up. Here is this was a signed picture which I actually also got as a gift. And 
Then we see we got this is the uh, Living Dead Dolls leather face figure with its original box. I really like this because it's such a fun little detailed item. And then moving on to more more releases or actually you know, re releases of the movie. Uh, here is a Spanish tape uh, where it's called La Matanza de Texas and yes this is the original movie even though the cover looks like Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 more or less and another Spanish one also I think the screenshot is from uh, part 3 but it is the original movie here is a I think this is a I forget now, German or Austrian release. Uh, it says Cult Classics Austria, but I think this is actually a German bootleg. Uh, and yeah, it actually has a screenshot from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 on the back, but it is the original movie. This is a film from Future Film, which is a company based in Finland. Uh, another VHS release. This is a bootleg I found at a flea market. Seems to be some kind of, you know, probably sourced from the uh, the American uh, Laserdisc because it has the same weird picture on the cover, which doesn't really appear on any other release. Here's an Australian VHS tape. Here is. Another gift from, from one of my followers. This is a very cheap, slim, just cardboard slip uh, DVD edition from uh, from uh, Ch Czech. Czech. I, I, yeah, I, I still can't. It sounds weird saying Czech. I want to say like Czechoslovakia or Czech. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, you know where it's from. Here is an American beta released by Media Home Entertainment. Looks like that. Here is Betamax copy from Wizard, Wizard Video in America. American VHS from Video Treasures. American VHS from MPI Home Entertainment. Uh, this is a Canadian release, Canadian very rare VHS from uh, Astral Films. Really hard to get a hold of this. And lastly here is another uh, wizard uh, video version, same artwork as the Betamax, but this is the VHS version. So there we go. Next row down, I'm gonna start off with some very rare um, Dutch VHS tapes from VML or Video Movies Leerdam. Leerdam, Leerdam, I don't know, pronounce it. Extremely big clamshells. They're basically bigger than all of the big clamshells that I own. So I actually uh, got in touch with uh, someone in, in the Netherlands uh, who helped me actually get an original VML case. You can actually tell that it still has the original sticker on it. Uh, because, you know, yeah. So he actually got me two clamshells to match these as they are just ridiculously uh, huge. Um, and this one, as you can tell, is actually cut right on the back. Uh, and this is almost true for most copies because, you know, Seeing as the clamshells were so large, and I think these might have been rentals originally, and a lot—I guess a lot of stores just wanted to, you know, use their own clamshells because these are so fucking big. So they changed it, and then they couldn't use the the uh, the uh, the sleeves, so they just cut the sleeves to make them fit. It's really sad. Uh, here is a Australian VHS release. Also one of these older ones, this is released by KTEL Video. And here is another one. 
same cover um, but this is it is actually the same release but this is actually a Betamax copy and they basically just took a Betamax sticker stuck it on the spine it's not a printed Beta but it is a Betamax just in case you thought that it doesn't exist on Betamax it does exist on Betamax in Australia uh, it's just the same one this is actually just an empty case just came across so yeah. uh, this is a really real beauty or actually a real rarity uh, this is from Brazil very old very worn from a company called uh, U Europa Home Video yeah it's pretty cool then we got a Danish VHS retail looks like this Here's another Swedish copy. A German one from VPS Video. Uh, another bootleg, one of the weirdest bootlegs I own. It's a green cover. Seems to be based on the Australian VHS, which I have up here, and they are very similar, but at the same time not exactly, you can say there are some differences to the cover, also much, much worse, poor, very poor print, they sort of threw things around, but the funniest detail about this is that they actually changed the spine number from the original VIP080 to VIP081, which makes no sense because that's a different movie. Um, and I don't really get it because this it's so weird. First of all, it's green. It's got like its own barcode, which doesn't make sense. And like a certified sticker on it. And at the same time, you know, it doesn't it looks like this cover cover, but not hundred percent just so strange. There's also a DVD edition which has this cover uh, in in Australia. Oh, I was saying this was Australian. It's actually not. I think this is this is a Danish Danish uncut version from Vipco. Uh, they were originally based in the UK, but I think they sort of re yeah they, they anyway they did start releasing uncut movies in Denmark at some point, and this is a a movie from from a copy from that era but anyway it's just a weird bootleg I picked it up because it's so strange and doesn't make any sense even in bootleg terms but yeah there it is the weirdo green one here is a ugh, god where is this from this is Greek I think from Scorpion video or Scorpion just yeah so that's that Another old UK pre-search. Love this cover. It's also the only version that comes with this cover. There is a Betamax version with this as well, but I just own the VHS. Another old UK VHS version. Pre-search. Pre-search era. Next row down, we got get to the DVD editions and, and whatnot. Here's the uh, screen grabs uh, diorama. I just kept this here because it's a nice bookend kind of thing. Uh, Japanese five disc DVD box set. This is easily the most luxurious DVD box set. Sturdy as fuck. Just really well made. Here's also one of the rarest versions I own. This is a recalled sort of lenticular cover version steelbook from XT video yeah, it is actually from XT video and the reason why this is so rare is this because it was recalled so this is not even officially released cost me way too much to get this Basically the story goes that there was like one case which wasn't actually 
you know, it was supposed to be destroyed. Uh, they had basically made uh, made all the you know they they had made all the the steel books already, and you know everything was set. But but then for some reason they didn't get the rights to it. Uh, the rights basically, you know, they 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 lost the rights. They thought they would would get the rights, but for some of the reason they lost it. And so they had all these DVDs which they couldn't sell. So they were ordered uh, to destroy them. But apparently one box. I can't remember, it's like 30 copies or something, apparently made it onto the market some way, people started, you know, selling them and, yeah, weird, weird story, very rare steelbook uh, here is the American steelbook uh, from uh, Dark Sky Films, I think it is, or Synapse, or whatever probably know this here is the UK Steelbook, Seriously Ultimate Edition. Here's a Scandinavian slash, or well, it's a Swedish Steelbook. Let's see. Uh, Australian tin case. Keep case in a weird tin case slip case. The American Meat Pack Edition. Another classic. This is an Australian keep case in a partial slip case. Uh, here is the uh, UK DVD white digipack version. I think this was a store exclusive original. Uh, then we got a black UK digipack. This is, I actually got two of these. And they are actually exactly the same version. However, one of them I only bought because it has a different rating sticker, and this actually is a sticker. And this is actually a sticker they applied for this particular release when it was sold in Ireland. So this is the UK version, but you know, sold in Ireland, so it's got an Irish sticker on it. Just weird, I thought it was fun to, to own it just for that reason. Here is an Italian keep case and a cardboard slip case. Ah! Everything's falling over. Uh, this is a Italian diggy pack. Diggy pack in a slip case. This is just the documentary. Uh, I don't know if it's Shocking Truth or another one, but one of the feature length documentaries on the movie. This is a German edition of that, just a slim diggy pack. This is a Swedish diggy pack. Like that. Here is a custom made digi pack, uh, which so this is actually just one copy in existence. It was made by a team of custom making people in uh, Hun Hungary, I think. Um, they call they're called Hasi Hasi Digi. If you want to Google them, they do a lot of cool shit. Uh, here is a uh, old rare version of uh, it's from uh, the Netherlands it's a digi pack release looks kind of like the UK version but not exact uh, there's a Spanish two disc digi pack DVD uh, here is the first um, oh, I'm trying to remember uh, this is the numbered limited edition uh, from turbine in Austria so, yeah, it's kind of a classic limited edition. Uh, and then here is the German release, also from Turbine. Uh, it's sort of like a, some kind of joint thing, I think. It's basically like three different companies. It's like Turbine and MPI and something else. Um, so this is like kind of like a weird joint venture. Uh, this release is probably the best DVD version to get, uh, you know, sort of on par with the uh, Japanese box. The Japanese box it is better built uh, because it has a sturdier outer box. But in terms of, you know, uh, best quality or like features and everything, uh, I think this is the one to get. This is the German uh, release from a few years ago. Uh, it's just... Uh, all the special features of every other box set, I think, and it is a Blu-ray DVD combo, 
Uh, and it also comes with like a nice little book and stuff. So yeah, uh, get this if you just want to get one version. That's my suggestion. Uh, here is a French diggy pack in a weird transparent pl plastic slipcase. Uh, here is another French version, just keep case in a slipcase. Uh, here's a Thai Thailand DVD DVD edition with a very strange cover. Just keep case in a slipcase. Here is the Austrian. Uh, and one of the Austrian heart boxes. This is the, a small heart box from XT Video. Here is a Swedish box for a program, TV special called Studio S on the video violence, which most people in Sweden know about. And this was basically just a program about video violence, which caused uh, mass hysteria and uh, stuff back in the 80s. And then this, like a like a anniversary box that with that TV show as well as the uh, you know there were a lot of uh, movies banned in the 80s because of this TV special uh, and then they decided to make like an anniversary of it uh, releasing the TV program together with uh, some of the movies that were that were banned and among those movies is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre which was banned for many years in Sweden uh, because of that TV program Next up, here is another, the last row of DVDs. We're almost done, just hold on. Uh, first we got some Blu-rays here, uh, this is the American one. Then we got the UK version. Here is an, a German version with a lenticular cover. I really like this, this is a very fun idea. Making Leatherface do his whole slashing with a chainsaw but it is basically just a glued on you know one of these uh, plastic plastic uh, sheets to uh, make it look uh, you know to make it uh, lenticular here's the Swedish uh, blu-ray version uh, here is the another uh, lenticular one this is basically the DVD edition of the the Blu-ray uh, release you just saw, and it also has the lenticular uh, cover image uh, of Leatherface. Uh, there's another German DVD, just a keep case. Another German one, of course I recall. We get to some UK editions. A lot of fucking editions from the UK, man. Here is a Swedish DVD keep case. Uh, another Swedish keep case. Very, actually very rare version because this was only issued as a rental DVD. Uh, there is a similar cover version. Uh, as a diggy pack, which I already showed you, I think. Here's that one. Exactly the same, but this is a retail version, which just was a diggy pack. But the rental edition was just a single disc, whereas the diggy pack was two disc. And so, yeah, this keep case is very rare just for the aspect of being single disc and keep case. Another keep case DVD from Sweden, two disc version. And then we have basically the same, but I think this is a single disc release, but I'm not. Yeah, this is just a single disc release, which is kind of odd. It has the same cover, and this is actually from uh, Denmark, but it is identical in terms of the artwork. Then we have a Finnish release from Future Film. Uh, this is from... Um, yeah, God, where is this from? I totally fucking forget what this is. Oh my. What is this? Oh, no, I seriously don't remember what this is. I think it's Hungarian. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a Hungarian release. Yeah. Yeah. It's very rare for me to. Yeah, it's yeah, it's Hungarian. I'm pretty 
pretty sure it's from a company a company called Ultra Film. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Hungarian. Uh, here is another Australian version. It's the same one as I showed you previously with the partial slipcase, but this is like a rental copy version. Comes in a weird rental keep case. Uh, this is the Australian keep case DVD, which looks pretty much identical to the uh, the weirdo UK slash Danish DVD VHS edition from Vipco. Uh, here is a I think is this Hong Kong or Korean or what is this? Yeah, I think it's a Korean edition. Pretty sure. Then we get to a Italian keep case with a ve very strange cover art in terms of the fact that you know it, it <laughs> um, you yeah it's just it's just an old cover art and what else is there let's see here's another early Dutch release keep case. Here is another Spanish one. Uh, the you know an American keep case. And finally, this is also an American keep case. This is one from Pioneer. And here is uh, this is a weird. Uh, can't remember some debate whether this was licensed or not. I don't really think it matters. Um, it was like an alternate Atari video game version. Um, story goes there was some guy on the internet who said he had purchased the. He was like the creator, he, or at least that's what he said. Uh, and he licensed this weird alternate Atari game version and sold it. This was numbered to 30 copies. I know there's been some discussion whether or not he, he actually had the license to do this. So I don't know if this would be considered official and I don't really care. So you don't have to make a lot of comments in regards to that. And yeah, it also comes with a flickering little light inside the box to light up the weird logo. Yeah, I don't know, it's such an odd release. I thought it was fun when I ordered it, but nowadays I don't know if I really care because it's still... I don't know. I'm more into DVD editions at the most moment. Or VHS. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Uh, last but not least on this row, we got the infamous uh, large heart box editions from Austria, from XD Video. So these are have always been really collectible, they were limited to 666 copies. So it's exactly the same edition, two disc DVD. It comes with, uh, with three different front covers. And yeah, it's a different back cover, it's, it's the same template, but it has a different background in it. So that's all of those. And finally, I'm just gonna run up this vertical row of VHS tapes I got set up. So at the bottom here we got a Swedish copy and we got a Spanish one. Here's a UK version, same as the one you saw before, but this is actually a Betamax copy. Uh, here is a German VHS, or actually, you know, it is a, it's actually a Betamax sleeve but it does contain the German VHS. I don't know, it was the only way I could get it. I just found someone who had it and he was like, yeah, sorry, it's, you know, it's a beta sleeve, but it does have the VHS tape, and I said, fine, so yeah. First uh, ever official uh, Swedish rental, which was recalled. That is cool to have, one of my favorite versions. Spanish VHS edition. Very strange cover art. Another Australian, same as the ones you saw before. Actually, that one is empty as well. And top of the place, there is the Aust no uh, the <laughs> the Danish release from Vipco. 
BIPCO, which was a company that released cassettes in the UK. But then after a while they, they started releasing uncut release in Denmark for a while, and yeah, that's the Danish one as I recall. Right, so that's all for my Texas Chainsaw editions at this point. Really hope you enjoyed this video, and as usual, hope to see you all next time.